Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review on this Lavoit Classic 300S Ultrasonic Smart Humidifier. So here's everything that comes in the box. So first thing, let's take the lid off. This is where you're going to put the water, right inside here. You can lift this whole tank off and take this over to the sink and fill it up. So around back it does have an aroma pad. Press it and this little tray will come out. You can put your little essential oils right there. And there's all kinds of warnings around it. You're never to put your essential oil right in with the water. So they do recommend purified or distilled water to fill the tank with. Okay, so let's take a look at the tank. There is inside here, there is a little filter you will have to clean once in a while. You're gonna just turn this part. It does come with an extra one of those filters. It just kind of like turns and you'll hear it kind of snap. This is a dust cover right here. Sometimes it says you might have to clean something, but you don't put anything there. This is just a little cover. Okay, so I've got the water tank full of water all the way up to there. It is very heavy, so be careful. So here's what the, the humidifier looks like. It's got this little float. There's gonna be a light, like a micro switch. There's a control panel. Let's take a look at the bottom. So it does say it's 120 volts, 60 hertz, 26 watts. And it says the water tank capacity is 1.58 gallons or six liters. So it does have these rubber feet. So it comes with a two prong cord and it is 63 inches long. Okay, so let's set the water tank on there. Again, that is very heavy when it's full of water. And you'll kind of hear some water going down into it. Then put the lid on. We can turn this so that it, we can turn this part so we can direct where the humidity is gonna go all the way around. Okay, so let's turn it on. Okay, so it's a little hard to see, but you just should just press it once and it should turn on. Okay, so as soon as I turned it on, it was in auto mode. I can change the mode. I can go low, medium, and high, but let's go back to auto. It's kind of sensitive. But it starts putting out humidity right away. And it is very quiet. I can hear maybe just a little bit of noise, not much. So it does have a light inside. So you got low, high, and then off. So let's say you want to turn the display completely off. You're going to press and hold this light button for three seconds. And it's going to turn the light off and the display completely off. Then we got to hold it for three seconds again to turn the display on. So it says once it gets above 50% in auto mode, it will not mist anymore. So you will not, if you've got above 50% reading here, it's not gonna put out humidity anymore when in auto mode. So it says in auto mode, it's gonna keep it between 40 and 50%. But later on, I am gonna show you, we're gonna connect this to our smartphone. So it says you can change that in the VaySync app. Okay, so let's go through the different manual modes. I got it in high. Again, I just press this. Little sensitive, so go slow. Go back to high. So it is really pumping the steam out in high. Now let's go back, let's, let, let's go to low. There's low. So it does adjust the steam accordingly really quick. Let's go to medium, there's medium. Let's go to high. Yeah, high is really high. Yeah, it's really pumping out the humidity. Now when you've got it in these manual modes, it will not shut off and on automatically. It's just gonna pump high humidity out the whole time, no matter what, how high the humidity gets. But if we go to auto mode, it won't let it get above 50%. And that's exactly what happened. It went to 51% and the humidifier shut off. So it does work very good. And it was very quiet during that transition. Okay, so let's talk about the sleep mode. It says the sleep mode changes it to auto mode, turns off the display and turns off the night light. So let's go to night. So the humidifier is in auto. Even though the display is off, it's in auto, which it's pumping out humidity, but it turns the night light off and the display light. And then to come out of night mode, just press the night mode again, you come out of it. Okay, so let's download the app. There's what the app looks like. Okay, so let's go over some measurements while that's so left to right is about nine and a half, height wise about 13. And front to back, you're looking at about almost six. And so it shoots that steam pretty good before it starts. So over 12, 14 inches before you. Now it is a cool mist. Yeah, even down here, it is pretty cool. 
So turning it off, it does stop really quick. And when you turn it back on, it starts the humidity up really quick again. So it looks like you do have to create a login. So it says it needs to use your Bluetooth. So I already had a login because it's the same as the Kasori air fryers that I was using. And there's also a scale that I was using. Okay, so click that little plus button in the top right hand side. So it did find my Lavoie. It already popped up, but if you didn't, you would have to go through and kind of find it in those. Now it says hold, hold the power button for five seconds. Okay, so the, the Wi-Fi blue light is starting to flash now, and it says it's connecting. All right, so then pick what um, your Wi-Fi network is and then give it your password. Okay, so it looks like it's connecting. That was pretty simple. So select a room for it. Give it a name. So you can even customize the icon. So let's take a picture. Take a picture. You got to allow. So let's just take a picture. So there it is. It done. So now that's the icon is the picture. That's pretty. I like that part. All right. It says we're all done. Give it a start. We can use third party with the uh, Google device and the Alexa devices. So it looks like you've got some pretty good controls with it. I can turn the nightlight on and off. It's pretty responsive. But the main thing I like it for is do, I want to schedule this. I want to schedule this to come on just certain times of the day like at night, so you don't have to turn it on and off all the time. So this, creating a schedule is going to be really nice. I can go manual. So yeah, it's pretty responsive to these. I can even set a timer. So the timer will let me pick like one hour and 30 minutes, four hours, turn the device off. Pretty neat. Then it said I sh could go. Okay, so in auto, go back to, so I was in manual, but go back to auto. And now I can change. Remember how we said it keeps it between uh, 40 and 50%? I can change what auto is now. So if I want auto to be 60%, that's what this machine will do. It'll try to maintain around 65%. So that's where you can change it. This, this app is very nice. So it does seem relatively quiet. It is pumping out a lot of humidity. I'm very happy with this. Thanks everybody for watching.